Yo, yo, guys, morning. It's the, uh, it's a cold uh, Thursday morning here in uh, Oxnard, California. As you can see, I'm wearing a beanie, a sweater, and a scarf. Um, it's 50 degrees out. For us here in Cal Southern California, it's freezing. So, uh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, man, it's cold. Ooh, ooh. Just here, taking a morning stroll with my doggies. So, so, guys. So, just taking a cool morning walk just to warm up. I'm gonna head out to the gym in a bit. It's pool day again, so I'm gonna do some back today. I've been trying to work on some size as far as my, my lats and the V taper. So, I mean, I'm not as uh, defined right now. Um, I have some fat in me because I'm. You know, in the quote-unquote bulking stage, just trying to add some mass to my frame. I'm not too worried about being aesthetic or straight or anything like that. But I've just been focusing on, on practicing other different moves, especially compound lifts, to not only build my size but build my strength most importantly. Um, and I've been seeing some some good results, and I'm staying still rather lean, so I like that. I like my frame is still lean. I mean. Uh, I'm noticing the size gains. Uh, I'm also getting complimented a lot as far as my gain in size, but uh, I, I still see myself rather lean. Um, I mean, there's, I mean, I can tell there's fat, but uh, I mean that's that's kind of what it takes when when you're uh, trying to gain some some mass or some strength. So uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll get it started. Um, it's kind of a change to my. Uh, routine here Come buddy. Um, usually I wake up first thing to take my pre-workout just head straight to the gym but uh figured I just kind of take a walk let my dogs kind of come out have some have some little fun before they, they have to go back in um, so it's kind of weird to be honest but it feels good it feels good so we'll talk we'll talk about it a little bit uh, about changing routines after the uh, workout. So, see you guys soon. All right guys, so I just got here to um, Family Fitness here in Oxnard. Um, it's where I train people and where I recorded probably some, if not most of the uh, Hit Saturday sessions. Um, so we're gonna get ready, just gonna do some back workouts. Probably won't be too complex. Probably won't do so many supersets um, today. I probably focus a lot like on the, uh, the deadlift and like a rack pull, and I'm gonna do some seal rows. Um, but I'll put uh, descriptions as far as what workouts I'm gonna choose. Sometimes when I come to the gym, I don't like to come uh, like have a structure, or have a plan. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but if that works for you, then by all means go for it. But uh, I've been doing this for so long that uh, um, I don't need to always carry a notebook with me or um, have to jot down, okay, I did this much and I hit this much. So I always keep it in my head. I'm not a big PR guy, so I don't go for PRs all the time, but I do always challenge myself. If, like, if I did, you know, uh, 225 for instance, and I got to go for, you know, 315 next time. Or I mean, I go in, I go in large increments. But uh, I've been starting to kind of slowly take it a little bit slower. Um, you know, as far as adding like a couple, five, 10, 20, 30 pounds, as opposed to just doing that big jump. But I mean, again, as far as when I come to the gym, I like to feel my body, see how, how it feels, listen to it. Um, and then from there, decide what workout's going to do. Because sometimes I've had workouts already lined up as far as what I'm going to do. And then when I get to the gym, I get you know another idea or I rather do this or my body feels this movement more feel the contractions feel the pump so I encourage you guys to try that but don't that's kind of dangerous too um, remember simplicity is bliss keep it simple because there's times where I've shot myself in the foot from trying to do all the workouts literally in the world on my uh, training session so you don't want to go crazy like that too so it's good to have some structure what I do is I just get my phone just type in some workouts that I've seen or that I've done before and I like. And then from there, probably pick and choose from different workouts that I have. And then, you know, make a, a new workout to, you know, challenge the body per se. 
Um, just remember that when you get into a routine, you build a habit and such, your, ha your body adapts to it. So you always want to change it, you always want to challenge it. It's good for those of you that note it, it's good. That's, I'm not saying that's bad. That's just not my style. That's not, um, I guess you could say that's not what I like. That's not how I train. But uh, I do have some sort of structure. I'm not saying I don't because it can be dangerous if you don't have a structure. It's like setting a goal without a deadline. I mean, you're literally not going to go anywhere because you don't know where you're going, you know, what's what's the end goal. So same thing with working out. You want to have some sort of idea, some sort of structure as to what are you aiming for and then build upon that, work upon that. And then I encourage you to adjust and change as you as you go. Sometimes, you know, the gym today is a little bit busy. It's a little bit crowded. So um, I might have to change some of the workouts that I have in mind. So that's what that's where I'm saying you guys need to improvise. Improvise will take you far anything you do because we don't expect it. I mean, for those of you that work out when the gym is very, very busy, I mean, you're gonna have to get creative, find different ways, find different techniques to, to do a workout. Don't always focus on doing the same type of workout or the same way because that's the way you learned or that's the correct, the correct way, I'm sorry. Um, I've said this many times and I keep saying it and I'm gonna preach it to the day I die is there's no such thing as a perfect workout. Find whatever works, attack the process, give it time, you see the results. So um, obviously I'm not saying don't focus on your form. You gotta focus on form, technique, but as far as uh, workouts, I mean, there's an infinite of ways you can do a, a certain type of workout or body part or anything like that. So um, don't focus too much on doing it the right way. So. All right, uh, enough chit chat. I already killed enough time, so it's gonna warm up. And we'll get started. See you guys in a bit. Back workout. All right, guys. So starting my back workout with a set of pull-ups. So I do about three to four sets of about 10 to 15 reps. Um, this just helps to uh, warm up the back and also get the uh, mind-body connection as far as the contractions on the back that I will be doing. So I like to do them a wide grip because uh, also I'm working on that V taper, making a wider back. So if uh, you guys want to build a wider back, um, any uh, wide grip pull down or lat pull down or pull up would uh, be the uh, trick to, to help you stimulate the, uh, the lat muscles more. Um, so I'll do about, you know, like I said, three sets. Um, you don't want to go to failure because this is a warm up. It's just uh, to get the, the back ready to go and uh, from time to time I like to attack all angles of the back so I'll attack the wide and the center um, or the upper side of the back so uh, in this shot right here you guys see I'm doing a neutral grip so this helps work the uh, think of it look at the spine the muscles right next to the spine all the middle parts of the back um, that's what I'm trying to target uh, I do know the names of the muscle areas but I don't want to confuse you guys or sound uh, too uh, uh, fancy but uh, just so you guys get a general idea of what I'm targeting with that and uh, moving right along uh, to some wide grip lat pull downs um, technically I like to do this move with uh, cables at the gym but at this gym that I am at today I decided to um, I mean, use whatever you have so um, this machine Right here, it's similar to the ones you guys see in the gyms with the cables. The only difference is that it's with the weight that you add on. So I'll do about a super sets of uh, three sets with about 12 uh, reps, give or take. So I decided to super set it with the rows. Um, I like to do rows, just feel like it really squeezes the back. And I like to focus on the full range of motion. So you guys can see I ex fully extend my arms and I bring it back in and I squeeze. Uh, you guys want to focus on squeezing as well too because you guys need to stimulate the uh, muscles as far as contracting them. So just remember when you're doing any type of movement, not just in back, you just want to make sure you contract the body part that you're working. So um, you know, uh, when, when I do, actually back is one of my, my favorite body parts to train. Um, it's actually easier to pull weight than it is to push. Um, so I noticed that uh, my back workouts are slightly more heavier than any other workout that I do. 
Um, but uh, also one one thing, as you guys can see on my wrist, I have some uh, straps. Uh, those help you to reduce the fatigueness in your forearms and wrist. I always get this question a lot as to why am I, uh, you know, why do I recommend wearing straps? Well, when you're working with back and you're trying to increase the size and the weight, your forearms, wrist muscles are a lot smaller compared to your back. So when you're doing uh, pull-ups or any type of pull movement, back rows, lat pull-downs, uh, you'll notice your forearms are really burned and really tight. That's uh, because it fatigues right before you fully even work the back. So if you guys really want to focus on really contracting, really reaping the best um, benefits of the back, I'm sorry, you guys want to make sure to have uh, some straps in your arsenal. Uh, this will also reduce the fatigueness in your your forearm, so you can pull more weight, but fully uh, contract the back and make sure you attack it properly. Uh, because sometimes, you know, when you you fatigue, you just do half reps, or you can't really pull anymore. You get tired, so your back doesn't get the full reap benefit. Um, so moving on here to the T-bar rows, um, as you guys can see, I just put a barbell on an edge, put some weight on it, and just roll it back and down. I come down to a slightly uh, squat position, not too much, not too low. Sorry, uh, just slightly bend the knees, keep the back straight. I'm sorry about this angle. This doesn't really show it well, but uh, I just want to do the just a full arm range, whatever your arm allows you to come down and up. Just really squeeze the, uh, the lats, so we're targeting the lats here. So here's another angle shot of it. Remember, one thing that will make you successful in the gym is improvising. Um, sometimes gyms don't have certain machines or uh, someone's using it or whatever the reason may be. So you got to get creative sometimes and just really find different ways to target the body. I mean, there's no perfect way or workout like I'm doing here I'm doing some individual arm rows uh, typically this move is done with dumbbells or in a machine but this is actually a curling machine for biceps but sometimes you gotta get creative you know and I like to do that a lot I like to get creative do different uh, techniques styles or ways of targeting certain body groups um, so I, I've, I found that to be more successful as in the gym as to just sticking to the typical lifts and workouts that everybody does and knows. Um, for instance here, I, I put 25 pound plates on the bar just to really focus on that squeeze right at the top, as you guys can see right there. If you use the 45 plates, uh, because of the circumference of the plate, it doesn't allow it, you to bring it up. So just remember, a little quick tip right there, just so you guys can really focus on the squeeze of the, of the back. and. So going back to, to improvising, um, you know, there's, there's no perfect way, there's no perfect approach to training. I mean, you want to make sure you do have the perfect form, but I mean, there's so many ways and techniques and styles you can do. I mean, why, why only stick to the typical lifts that you see in the gym or everybody else do? So, I mean, this is where I like to experience, is try new things, I mean, keep it fun, because sometimes Repetitiveness, especially in lifts, can get slightly boring and bland. So just spice it up. Yeah, just a little tip for you guys right there. So moving on to the rack pulls here is a slight modification to target the lower back, uh, similar to the deadlift. Um, I like to do this on a Smith machine. Uh, just because it uh, keeps the the bar um, stationed, so uh, less likely to cause any injuries or slips or anything like that. And I'll put a platform on the bottom just to slightly bring me up where my knees are right at the bar level. And you just what it is a pull up and just tight the back and it targets the back too. It's a, a different variation of the, the the back workout as opposed to doing the, the deadlifts. It just really focuses more on the back. Um, so I started doing this move uh, instead of the deadlifts 
not all the time, just change it up here and there. Uh, but I noticed this one really targets my back more. And uh, I just decided to play a little bit with the, the weight. So, as you guys can see, I have two plates here on each side. And I bumped it up to four plates just to see how much I can do of it. But, again, you know, one thing is you want to check that you got the door. It took me a long time to be able to even pull this much weight. Um, but, you know, when you have a, a goal in mind and a vision, so you got to you gotta get to work too. So don't be afraid to challenge yourselves. And as you guys can see here, uh, using my straps because of the grip. Once you get heavier, your grip will always give up before the, the targeted muscle. So you want to make sure you, you stay safe. So like mentioned here, I did four plates on each side and uh, slightly struggled a little bit to get up, but I still got that squeeze in there. And yeah, I noticed uh, these rack pulls really, really target the, the back area, especially the lower back, which is pretty tough to, to target. So it's actually one of my favorite moves to, to do for my, my back day. So yeah, guys, just uh, change it up. You know, don't be afraid to try new things. That's uh, one of my biggest things and when it comes to training. Just go out there, try new things, different ways. You know, um, there's always better, different ways, new ways to, to attack uh, the body. Um, for instance, in this shot here, we're going to do the uh, seal rows. Um, I got this from, I mean, I, I kind of seen this workout before, just never really paid attention to it. But then until I saw someone do it with a barbell and I was like, hmm, this looks interesting, so I decided to try it. So what this is, this really, really attacks the whole back. So if you really want to work on your back, um, and this workout will definitely, definitely uh, target the back. I mean, you're talking about all aspects of the back because if you see my legs on the back, I bring them up elevated slightly to really squeeze the lower back. And then doing the rows attacks the lats. And maintaining that position really contracts the whole back. So uh, this workout, wow, I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a toughy one. So, um, with you guys see here with the tires and the I don't know what I got going on here to be honest. But uh, like I say, you gotta get creative. But uh, just elevation, just so I can really focus on that full range of motion to bring all arms all the way down and bring them up to contract. As you guys can see, I try to tap the platform just to get that extra couple centimeters of a, of a squeeze. So, uh, if you guys wanna build your size and strength in the back i definitely recommend the the seal rows you can do this either the barbell or with uh, dumbbells i find them more effective with the barbell but uh you know like i said just try it out see what works best for you and don't be afraid to try new things so you learn from from experience but a lot from failures as well all right guys so i'll leave the clip here for you guys to just keep watching Thank you again for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Right, guys, so that was uh, some back workouts. Um, fortunately, uh, it got a little too crazy. Uh, there was other trainers, other people there, so I didn't get to really, I had to like move around and kind of just to, uh, able for all of us to work out so it kind of threw me off of my mood it threw me off of my um, I just lost the, the energy the pump so uh, I try to not let it get to me too much I, I'm still trying to push as much as I can but uh, I mean it is what it is you gotta you gotta work with what you have sometimes um, it's not always perfect um, I truly wish I had the whole facility to myself but I mean sometimes you can't be selfish and got to learn to to work with others um so just kind of some thoughts i mean i don't mind sharing i don't mind you know all of us you know working together or working out but when they know you're using something and they just get in your way or they just take the machine or something then that's kind of one of my pet peeves um if you ask me then i'll be like yeah sure go ahead jump in but when you just come and Either you start working out, or you, or you're a trainer. You just bring your clients, and you just, 
you know, when you see that person's working out there, you just kind of come and you know, just don't do that. You know, just be courteous to others. Um, and if you're the victim, then I mean, don't play the victim part. Just kind of just let it pass. You know, not, it's not worth making uh, any troubles or or any fights for, for little dumb stuff like that. So, anyways, moving along. Um, yeah, so uh, it's feeling good today. Um, on some of the moves, you guys can see I maybe somewhat struggled a bit to, to pick them up, but um, I'm still working on it. So um, a lot, a lot of my work this past year has been focusing on um, on the moves, how to perform them better, more proper technique, better form. So I'm still working on that. Um, it's not like perfect, perfect, but uh, you know, every day I'm getting better. Every day I'm getting stronger, more effective. So. Uh, I'm liking the, the turnout that I'm getting. Um, but uh, yeah, so for now just heading home. It was a, a bit of a longer workout than I thought. Um, again, because I had to like move around and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, it was a pretty good workout. My back's feeling great. So I'll probably attack it again tonight. Um, we'll see, we'll see how I, how I feel. And uh, yeah, so right now I just gonna get home, eat some food, shower up. Get ready for tomorrow, chest day. All right, guys. See you guys soon. Stay fit.